everyone and welcome back to another video we just did a value village haul and we are about to do a another thrift store haul so i hope everyone is doing well today so this was the um mission thrift store in winnipeg uh we did a haul was it last week where we found this new store that i'm loving uh i did notice that they were putting their prices up on a few things but the one thing i talked to you is about was marked down. I was super happy. So, um, you remember I said I saw the uh, mixer, the old mixer? Well, it was gone, but the ironing board was still there. <clears throat> so last week they wanted $20 for it and I wasn't willing to pay that, but we go in today or today. We went in whenever I went. Um, oh, that was the same day we went to Valley Village. And, uh, so that would have been Wednesday. The Oh, I don't remember. Anyways, um, they had the ironing board and they marked it down to $10. So I took it. So I'm just going to show you. This is really old. Like, what, what would you think? So just look. It is made of wood and uh, metal. And she does fold down, like right there. And we'll show you. Caroline doesn't iron. <laughs> but I'm going to display it in the laundry room. I was pulling on this. We were we had pulled the cover off to see if we could find um like a date or a name on it, but there wasn't. There is a name on the cover here. But yeah, they've kind of like used um those are almost like, you know, plate hangers that you would hang a plate with. But they have two of those on the bottom of it. I hope you guys can see that. Let's see if I can lift it up. But I was happy. It was waiting for Caroline. I should have been born way back in whenever. I just love the old simplicity of things that they had back in the day. So this is, I think, the original cover. And it said Susan... Oh, probably not, because, yeah, you're right, it wouldn't have been, because it's kind of fitted. But anyway, when we did, uh, we did pull it back here, and it kind of is really low, because ironing boards are higher now. This is made for short people. But anyway, like, oh, yeah, people this this was were, new, because look at the back of it. People in general weren't very tall. Ew, is that then. a bug? There's a bug! Yes. Uh, Did you just like get rid of it? It's like a fossil. Thanks. <laughs> a fossil. But you can see that uh, this was well used. And they pinned it on. Can you see the pins? So I'm going to unpin that. Wash her up. And just put all this right back on again. What was the name? Susan Winget. W-I-N-G-E-T. Is who the ironing board cover is from so yeah love it ten dollars it's too bad the whisk wasn't there but they probably had marked it down too and somebody bought it before i got there i'm out of breath the other thing we got was books there wasn't really much um much that caught our interest was there we seen a lot of stuff that was there from the week before so anyways we did buy some books a dog named Chip, The Life and Adventure of a Mongrel Scamp. These are all antique books. And this one was... You never know, I just might sit and read some of these. This was copyright 1931. 1931 and we did pay $2 for it and these ones were nice looking because there's no writing or anything on them these were $2 as well this was a school library book the school district of Springfield it says number 1567 and uh I don't know what that says. And this one is New York 1957. Oh, it does have writing here. Coatsworth, 
Thief Island Macmillan. And this one was also two dollars. So Macmillan I, I, would be the publisher. Yeah, I got this gray one and this green one. So this green one says the case of the gone goose. And it was looks like a school library book. People that didn't bring their books back to the library. It's by Scort, Scott, <laughs> Scott, Scott Corbett, illustrated by Paul Frame, an Atlantic Monthly Press book, Little Brown and Company, Boston and Toronto. Look at the pictures. So let's see what year this book was. 1966, copyright. So there you go, 1966. This book is older than us. All right, two dollars. Did I say that? They had two dollars. They moved their vintage books, but I found them. Well, Sean did, and uh, we grabbed them. This one's a little chewed up a bit. This one's called Diane. Uh. Diana. Yeah. Now, for some reason, they charged us three dollars for this one. But I know a lot of people do take these off to protect the books. That's what it looks like if I was going to display it. Yeah, it looks like there was a page ripped out of the front there. Just look at the pages, how rough they are. See them? That rough cut that they used to do. And this book was a New York Times bestseller as well. Part one, chapter one, I don't see a date. Printed in the USA. Oh, I think. Did you see a date in this one? You know, it looks like the front page was ripped out. Hopefully they didn't rip it out at the... No, she didn't rip it out at the store. I was watching her ring them in, but maybe yeah. somebody ripped it out. 1960. Oh, 1960. There we go. It's in a few pages in. So that's an oldie too. And another oldie, The Green Years, A.J. Conran. Cronin. Cronin. See an R there. Oh, Cronin. Not R. Oh, see R, Cronin. I'm just reading too fast. We paid $3 for this one as well. So since we were there a week ago, they did um, up their prices on their vintage books. This was 1945, Little Brown and Company from Boston. It'd be cool just to read these to see uh, how stories were told way back then. Uh, this one looked interesting too. I believe this classic. is a, the classics. It's a classic. It's Robinson uh, Crusoe. Yes, Robinson. Sorry, I can't say it. Robinson, Robinson Crusoe. <laughs> Defoe. It says 2124. I don't know what that means. That's Whiteman. Just, that's not the year. Look at the cover on this. Now, we did pay $3 for this one as well. So, we did pay up for these books. Uh, the paper's red. And then you open it up. So, yeah. Is this maybe like one of their originals? Oh, someone has their sticker in it. Allison Jean Dunn. And she lived in Rivercrest, Manitoba. So the book is about, I was born in the year 1632 in the city of Everybody York. Everybody knows the story of Robinson Crusoe. Okay, but I'm just saying, it doesn't oh, that's, say. That's older than 40. <laughs> that's older than 40. <laughs> so uh, there's no date in this one either because it goes right into chapter one. About the shipwreck. It's a nice read too, nice big print. So I don't know how old that book is, but I'm going to say she's that, old. That book will be old. Should have been in the front there. Mm -hmm. Robinson Caruso does not have a public. He was... Uh, a published date. Was, the time he disappeared to the time he was rescued was 35 years. And we bought 
Another this classic. one, another classic. This is uh, Black Beauty. This one we paid two dollars, so I don't understand their pricing with three dollars, two dollars, one dollars, whatever. So this one was copyright, but it does say 1927, 1957, and 1961. So I'm assuming this is the 1961 um, version, wouldn't it be? Yes. Yeah. Again, nice big print, uh, a book that you could read through quickly. So we got that one for $2. That's from the children's classics. Yeah, the children's classics. And this one was... Um, Lorena. Yeah, Lorena, Double Day, Frank G. Slaughter. In this nice blue. And it was $2. And this one was... I'm just displaying these old books. I think they're awesome. They go with my back in the day decor. <laughs> 1959. So that one was 1959. So we got that. And the last book, uh, Sean picked this one up. So there you go. Oh, I didn't want to see it. <laughs> it's physical anthropology and archaeology. I can say that. Yeah, okay, say it. What? Say it. It says physical anthrop <laughs> anthropology. I have, I have trouble talking. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. And uh Where where I grew up on Beaver Creek in Marmara. Ontario. There's uh you go along the riverbed, there's all kinds of fossils in the rock, in the bedrock. And my cousin Bruce Lee from Maydog is actually an archaeologist in England. There you go. Yeah. A little bit of history. And that Sorry, is it. Which, which Lee did I say? Pardon? Not Bruce. Bruce died. Tom. Tom. Thomas. Here's Missy coming to jump in our shopping bag again. Hey. Say hi. <laughs> that is it for that mission thrift store in Winnipeg. Our total was um, with taxes twenty nine ninety three and ten dollars. So that was for my ironing board. My ironing board. Yeah, here's the price right there. I was so happy to see that they marked it down to half price. I wonder how long it was sitting in the store and there. They fixed it. Oh yes, because remember it was closed. And it was sitting against the wall, and uh, we did try to open it the first time we seen it, but it was kind of all bent, uh, and uh, this time it was sitting open with stuff sitting on top of it, and somebody fixed it. It opens and closes perfectly now. So they, they fixed it, and they marked it down to $10. <laughs> Anyways, that is it. Bit of a short video. Uh, we're just going to hop in to do our last thrift store and uh yeah so i hope you enjoyed this one as well take care and we'll catch you all on the next one bye for now